it is time for Prince I Pal Science Summer School. We got a great episode for you today. We're going to work on our mindset. I got another great store for you, and we are going to learn about a circuit as well as some vocabulary, scientists of the day, and on this day in science. So enjoy another episode of Prince I Pal Science Summer School. Our scientist of the day is James Watt. James Watt lived from 1736 to 1819, and he is the father of the Industrial Revolution. He radically improved the steam engine, invented high pressure steam engines, and independently discovered latent heat. He also invented the world's first copying machine. All right, that is James Watt, our scientist. On this day. day in 1994, the first near complete fossil of a pygmy mammoth skeleton was found in the rapidly eroding sea cliffs on Santa Rosa, Rosa Island, which is one of the Channel Islands of California. This is the only full-size skeleton of the species anywhere in the world and the first to be dated. That happened on this date in 1994, and that mammoth was estimated to be 12,840 years old, and he stood to be five feet and a half, or five feet six inches tall, and weighed a ton. All right, that happened on this day in 1990. Prince I, pal, here, working on your mindset. So opportunities are usually disguised as hard work. So anything worth achieving, anything worth doing, is gonna take effort, it's gonna take work. Sometimes you gotta work super duper hard. Not everything is always gonna come easy and nor should it. Because if everything in life is easy for you, you are never gonna get bigger, better, stronger, or smarter. You have to work, you have to make your brain work, you have to make your body work. So when you have that opportunity, and it seems like you have to put some effort in, realize that it's what's best for you. So make that effort. Don't give up. Show that grit and perseverance, all right? Never give up. There's many opportunities out there, but sometimes you gotta work a little harder than maybe you want to, but that's okay. All right, that's Prince I, pal, with your mindset. Saw this book in the library, I couldn't resist. It's called Chicken Cheeks. This is all about well, you'll see. Chicken cheeks. Chicken cheeks. We're not talking about the cheeks on your face. Duck tail. A moose caboose. Chicken cheeks. Penguin patootie, polar bear derriere, a turkey tush, a new wazoo, a flamingo fanny, a rhinoceros rump, a giraffe, a giraffe back half, a hound dog hiney, a two con a two can can a kangaroo keister guinea pig buns a deer rear a duck billed platypus gluteus maximus so A bumblebee bum. The ends. Chicken cheeks. Hey friends, Principal Science here with our science principal. A couple months ago, Mrs. Ferris talked about a circuit. I want to demonstrate another circuit. Now remember, a circuit is an electronic device that provides a path for electric current to flow. So I have my energy ball here and it has two electrodes. Now, if both electrodes are touched, I will complete the circuit. See, one touch, no, two touch. Ooh, look at that. I'm completing the circuit so the energy ball is making noise and flashing. Now, if I touch it here with this hand and I touch it with this hand here, again, I'm completing the circuit. It's going all the way around me through my body. Now, if I had a line of friends, that would be amazing because we could all, one per the first person touch it, we could connect hands and last person touch it and the energy ball, we would be completing 
the circuit. So hopefully when we get back to school, we can get a line of people together and see if we can make a circuit and light our energy ball. But that is a circuit. And I am Principal Science with your science Friends, principal. That is another episode of Prince I Pal Science Summer School. I hope you enjoyed and we will see you next week. Be amazing. Ta-ta for now.